Thank you. I'm extremely excited and grateful to be here. And I will be reading from my novel, Hometown, which opens in Bayou Le Battery, Alabama, which is on the Gulf Coast in the deep, deep south. There are all sorts of unflattering things I could say about my hometown. I know because I practiced. You might even say it was my major course of study during my high school years. Eventually, I graduated and finally had the whole world in front of me and no obligations to hold me back. So, naturally, I immediately married a hometown boy with family ties deep enough to be genetically suspect. <laughs> now, it was not at all unusual to be in the Walmart with Gary, only to find that every single person in the store was a relation of some sort or another. Well, with no living family to speak of and only one half of one generation residing below ground, you can imagine how thrilled his family was to add my name to their tree. When we got married, Gary's mother, Irene, an aggressively thin woman with hard gray eyes, told me that their family Bible had been lost during Hurricane Frederick, but I'd always suspected that she'd hidden it rather than add my name to that most sacred of genealogies. That was actually fine with me because I have terrible handwriting and never have developed a satisfactory trademark signature. Everyone suspected I was pregnant when we made the announcement, complete with short engagement period, about a week after I graduated. And my size did little to dispel that rumor. Is Miss Harris, my friend Jolene's mama, who convinced me to lose weight before the big day. She said that my wedding photos were the most important pictures I'd ever have taken, so it's important to look as much like movie stars and magazines as possible. She's a hairdresser and has been married three times, so has a lot of experience with weddings. <laughs> For the six weeks before the wedding, I worked my ass literally off. And on the big day, I managed to close the zipper that size 12 dress. It was the thinnest I'd ever been. I thought my improved appearance might help ingratiate me with my new stick-thin mother-in-law-to-be, but instead she'd been horrified by each dropped pound. My decreasing waistline could only mean that I was not, as she suspected, knocked up. Gary was not marrying me out of some noble, if misguided, sense of duty or responsibility. He had, as she saw it, simply settled. Thank you very much. <laughs>